one of the aspects that really motivates us at Avidel to try to best serve the patient community is the fact that on average, from the time of symptom onset, it typically is about eight to 15 years before a patient is diagnosed with narcolepsy and can receive appropriate treatment. And along that journey, many times there are misdiagnoses that are given. There's a lot of frustration uh, among patients, understandably. And unfortunately, since symptoms oftentimes will present in the late teens, we're talking about time that is lost when people are in college, they're starting their careers, and they're having to suffer through this debilitating excessive daytime sleepiness that can really be difficult to be productive. Part of the reason that it is difficult to diagnose someone with narcolepsy is this is a relatively rare condition. So this affects about one in 2000 people. And the cardinal symptom of sleepiness is fairly nonspecific. And so it may be dismissed, um, particularly in primary care where that can be a common complaint. And then another key feature of narcolepsy is disturbed nocturnal sleep. And so sometimes patients will come in to see their provider talking about difficulty sleeping or not having restful sleep. And that may cause a clinician not to consider narcolepsy. So oftentimes it's a long pathway before someone is referred to an appropriate sleep specialist. Once they see a sleep specialist, they're typically going to be asked to do an overnight sleep study. Uh, they have something called polysomnography or PSG where they're hooked up uh, to monitor brain waves during sleep. And that is used to help make the definitive diagnosis of narcolepsy along with monitoring them during the day to assess the amount of time that it takes um, before they fall asleep.